I was thinking, Stephen. Yeah. Let's talk about fishing with a net, not a hook. I love that. Okay. That's probably one of the most important things that we as realtors can focus on. Yeah. When we tell sellers that, talking about marketing their property, they get it. Yeah. But there's another side to that whole fishing with a net versus a hook component, right? Oh, 100%. In this day and age, yeah. you know, it's social media. I have a lot of agents who come to me and they say, Marianne, I'm on social media. Yes. And I have to take a step back because I'm like, you've never liked any of my posts. You never comment on anything. Are you really active on social media? Right. Where are you? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So I think that brings up a really good point because social media right now is, is the most uh, accessible yeah. and probably the easiest avenue to be out there in sort of a public uh, venue, right? Yeah. So how do you create a blend of doing social media properly? Well, like you said, it's not only professional posts. Uh, there is personal posts yes. like Niall and I post yeah. what we're doing on weekends and stuff. And it's also being engaged with the other people's posts. So when you post something, I'm liking it or commenting yeah. on it. And, you know, same with Sasha. He does it on a regular basis. I think that's a really yeah. good point. And you have to have... You have to have the engagement both ways because yeah. it's kind of like a conversation out there in cyberspace, right? Yeah. And you also want to have a blend between the personal, the professional, what you're doing, these beautiful properties that we get the privilege of listing and representing, and also tips and tricks about the market and things that are relevant to real estate because when people think real estate, yeah, we want them to think of us, right? 100%. Got to be likable. This is a tough one because, you know, <laughs> some people are pretty prickly because they get really intense a lot of times. Okay. And I always say to people, lighten up. Don't sure. sweat the small stuff. Yeah. it's There's a lighter side to all of this. Yeah. And we all, our lives are not necessarily filtered like we can do on Instagram through all these filters and that kind of yeah. stuff. So that's where I think the blend is really important to show that we're approachable, that yeah. we're accessible and that we're not just trying to filter the content that we're putting out there, that it's real, but making sure that that is concise to what we want to put out there. So I think we can sum it all up with, because we're so active in our sphere, because we are the go-to for real estate, yeah. and we're willing to share our information, we are creating, what is that term you always use? I can never okay, remember it. This is sweet. So when you're doing all of that kind of stuff, you are building relationship equity. There it is. Yeah. And that's okay. you're making deposits freely with your audience. And that has value. 100%. I think we nailed that's it. That's great. Yeah. You want to okay, do a great. big hand movement? Or yeah, let's do some, something big. For the video. For the video. Even if the audio drop. goes off, let's Yeah, drop the mic. And then we go. Okay. Go team, go. Okay. We got it. Let's put a filter on that and okay. put it on Insta. No. Shoot. We didn't do that a lot next time. <laughs> Enjoy your coffee. Cheers. Cheers.